Hi everybody, and welcome to a brand new series called Minecraft Story Mode. This is season two. Um, so yeah, I decided to start it today uh, because I've just finished season one just not long ago. Just so yeah. So yeah. I decided to basically start it uh, today. So, yeah. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. It's been a while since I played this, and. Last time I played this when 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 this game actually came out, I can't remember when that came out. Here we go. Alright, so here we go. So, episode one Hero in Resistance. Alright, here we go. Boom. This game series adopts of the choices you make, the story is told by how you play the game. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they huh. Settings, audio, subtitles on, boom, boom. Got it? Yeah. And destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that huh. Uh, audio medium large. No. Nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff it's we didn't to be actually truthful. do. I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? 
Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read a founding day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. We um, did it together. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Huh? Who's this? Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. It's my cool. deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of uh, liked it. So, what's, what's up? up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah. I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging but a TNT a team. rally in the morning. Guys, right, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Wither Storm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly tea and tea and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. I'm this glad you came. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. I'll always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. It's really cool. this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it, too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but 
I think people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Tiki head. I bet one of those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Oh yeah, I was had. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. That's from like, um, from season one. The octopus. Craving seafood? Always. Why? I'm pretty sure that octopus was made by a stamp, stampy cat. Jesse, dude! No, I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Except what about the adventure? I have a place to store your junk, okay? I can't believe you settled down. I thought you were all about the wandering, the adventure. Look, you make it all sound really good again when you put it like that. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! Gonna be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get in business. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, uh, Alright, let's. Let's just do it like this. Damn it. Alright, we kind of got this. Right, um, do, nope, I need to move you. Green. 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 Around. 
She's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm -hmm. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is it's the statue. statue. All right, let's have a look at the creeper. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. I'm surprised you're here. here, though. Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh. Sorry, Stampy, if you're trying to do a video. Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm it right down. Hey, boy. Here, boy. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. Want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But <coughs> come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Alright. Uh, I want to go and have a look at the statue. Ah, oh, those were the days. Simpler times. Okay. So, yeah. Can I not go around? Oh, yeah, because this stupid squid with some way. I don't know if I have to guess. Groovy. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. He saved us all. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Hey right, guys, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What, what are you the, doing here? What are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For Valentine's Day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the flute. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Ruben better than Jesse, right? I can do that. I can walk to him. Seems like the least I can do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderbolt the Sixth. <laughs> 
tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most boobin-esque. Mm-hmm. They're all adorable. Raise all of them myself. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderport the Sixth. No questions. Oh, look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, uh, some broke for some reason. Uh... All right, let's go and talk to Stampy and Stacy. Hello, Jesse. Hi, Stampy. Calling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best! And I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem, problem here, guys. guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just you can have Not everyone both. likes cake, Stampy. Oh, why don't we have both? Well, oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I think we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Okay, uh, get an egg from the cheek. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, that's Stampy's garden plant, I guess. Huh. What a lovely garden. That's why it's called Stampy's Lovely Garden, Jesse. Let's get sugar. Sugar, nice. Just what I need to help Stampy and Stacy. All right, let's go and craft these in a minute. Um, let's talk to Lee. Jesse, hey, hey, look who it is. Jesse, hey. Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime dive. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bot design schematic. This sounds is great. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda bot designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Hmm. I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do. Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Stone Don't Why don't we run with that? that? Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh, I'm nervous. Swan dive. <laughs> Woo! Ta da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, look, look my, my friends are waiting, so I got it right. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> What's wrong? What you looking at, citizen? Oh, <laughs> Jesse, who about? Hi. <laughs> Just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? 
Uh, could maybe use a bit more wool, I guess. More oh, wool, of course! Oh, why didn't I think of that? Stupid! Ah, just to get back up there? Huh? Uh, okay then, we'll just, just leave you to it. it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Oh yes, crafting time. Uh, right. I don't want. I don't do this again. Oh yeah. Uh, for the sugar. I think it's like that. So, like cake. It's like this. Jesse, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. You're welcome, Stacy. Welcome, Stampy. Yes! <laughs> Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. I'm I have faith in you. All the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Alright, let's do it. Ow! Alright. 
Back up. Well, you're late. Well, at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing it's papers. It's been a while. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy, fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... More zombies. Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. Ah. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Yeah. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me, your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything. I always have time for you. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Three? Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, let's hey, just enjoy it right now. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly, exactly are we looking, looking for, for now? Here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. Now what? What was that? that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? What? It's monster hunting time. You're on. Backward. 
fine, I'll go for the win. And Jesse takes the lead. Let's see how long that lasts. Man, you're faster than I remember. You were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. And you were awesome, awesome. Petra. Petra. Felt just like old times. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This, this quest, quest was just trapped down a stupid, stupid llama? llama? Ow. It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure sniffing llama. Or, uh, it's important, okay? Petra, what you Please, what what are you not telling me? We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be okay, like okay. That I thing. trust you. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? I got you now. Ah. No, I don't. Ah. Rose. Come on, let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Hey, hang on, it's super dark down here. We should make a torch. A stick and yeah, I feel like. Boom, boom, and boom. Yeah. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. I'll shovel the shovel. Am I right? There it is. What's that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Is 
it's like this thing is cold. Oh, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove Gloves or, or gauntlet? Looks, Looks like, like it's made, made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Give me a look. Give me a look, shiny. Ah. Squirrel. Me. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. Stop, Stop it. The thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gun. Like, like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Why is it always me? Man locks, portal keys. Why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a powder. Uh -oh. Now what? Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this first part of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 1, please like, and subscribe, I was going to say comment, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And as always, I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.